This time, packaging articles made from biopolymers in thermoforming. Christoph, uh, please share with us what is possible in uh, proceeding of those biopolymers on ELIC thermoforming machinery. ELIC, home of thermoforming. Thermoforming systems, packaging systems, tool systems. Since 1946. Hello, my name is Christoph Steuer. At ILIC, I'm working as a packaging engineer. ILIC is a manufacturer of thermoforming and packaging systems. We also produce molds, combine the systems to create complete production lines for multiple industries, from food up to automotive. The packaging development department of ILIC assists our customers in creating new packaging, which can be produced on our lines. We have great experience in thermoforming biomaterials. As the world's leading family-owned company of thermoforming lines, packaging lines and mold systems, we are located in Heilbronn, just 90 minutes from Frankfurt Airport. We manufacture and assemble a large part of our products ourselves in Heilbronn, and this gives us the flexibility to react even for unforeseen customer requests. You can see our parts and production tool assembly, the customer center, the ELIC technology center, administration, development, assembly, and training and education department. ELIC was founded in 1946 and currently employs 600 people worldwide. With more than 180 patents, we live up our claim of technological leadership and we have a high export share to over 80 countries worldwide. You can see in the middle, ILIC Hybron, the headquarter, ILIC Romania, ILIC France in Europe, ILIC UK, and also ILIC USA, ILIC um, Latin, Latin America, Japan, China, India, Middle East, and Far East. If you are not familiar with thermoforming, the principle of thermoforming. Plastics are supplied as a foil or a sheet. Um, then the plastic is heated in the elastoplastic zone. And in comparison to injection molding, the temperature are not so high. And then the plastic is molded with a forming tool and cooled down until the molded part is stable. The molded part, for example, a cup, is punched out and demolded. And then in the last step, the molded parts are stacked and packaged. Yeah, our area areas of competence. Um, ILIC offers its customers a broad portfolio of up to 60 different machines. And the main division are the wall feed thermoformers, forming punching, and the separate forming punching tools. If you are familiar, the RDM and the RDK machines. And however, our innovation or innovative division uh, for sheet processing machines, form, fill, and seal lines, packaging machines are important for the whole group. Our unique mold and tool shop solves every customer request and strong service division binds our customers to the ILIC brand. Now let's go deeper, deeper into the biopolymer topic. Um, ILIC benefits from a strong network of raw material suppliers and converters with whom we work together on customer and development projects. Here you can see, for example, NatureWorks, BSF, Total Corbin on the side of the raw material suppliers and um, Kobel Plus, Südperk, Coexpan, Jura Plus, Fuhlenberg Wolfen and Technora in uh, the converter um, area. Yes, and we are uh, familiar with following biomaterials um, PLA, uh, the amorphous um, PLA in the crystalline PLA type, EcoVio, PBS, BOPT, BOPP, PLA, PBAT compounds, and the PVOH as a barrier layer. Yeah, ILIC competence in biopolymers, the possible performance. Um, I want to show a short case study with a meat tray uh, made of EcoVio T. Um, 2308 from BSF, and it was manufactured on an ILIC RDK 80. On the left side, you can see um, the biopolymer foil with 
530 millimeters width and 0.4 millimeters thickness was used and extruded by the company Foyenwerk Wolfen. Um, The film was formed with a six cavity internal test mold. And this internal test mold is typically for thermoforming um, PS, polystyrol, PET, or PP material. And as a result, we have got brilliant forming with high machine and process reliability. The tray are characterized of a glossy surface, um, a high forming accuracy, Uh, which allows detailed engravings and the stacking is uh, quite regular. There's a easy processing properties with existing ILIC machine, RDK80 and tool technology. There's a competitive performance of 50 cycles per minute. That means 18,000 parts per hour. And in comparison, same mold operates for APT with 50 cycles per minute, for PS with 50 cycles per minute, and PP with 40 cycles per minute. So we are quite competitive. Um, there's a good stacking behavior and an excellent sealing behavior. And the foil can be equipped with a biodegradable barrier layer PVOH. Well, um, how to achieve biopolymer thermoforming application now? Um, there are two ways when you contact ILIC with, um, with your biopolymer inquiry. If it's a standard biomaterial for proven application, for example, a drinking cup, you can see it on the left side, um, we will recommend an existing machine set up dedicated tool technology and advice, for example, with performance data for business for your business case. If it's a more challenging biomaterial for new applications, you can see on the, on the right side, we recommend a packaging development project called Spectivity. This includes further steps before a production system. Yeah, our 360 degree packaging development called Pactivity. Um, I would like to explain Illic's approach to packaging development a little bit. We always begin with our application requirements. Then we develop an idea and explain certain options. This is followed by an analysis in which we look at the product, the packaging material, production volumes, and overall feasibility. Illic know-how then provides design option tool design, and the full machine line concept, including downstream automation and robotics. After that, we enter a testing phase that includes separate production, part analysis, and customer acceptance. The activity for Lysol free and approach allows customers to benefit from our deep practical experience in this field, where we have helped hundreds of companies bring new packages on the market. Edict competence in biopolymers applications. Well, what do you see there? Um, on the left side, there's a lid typically for margarine package. And above there is a soup bowl. And um, the soup bowls are heated, are heat resistant up to 120 degree and are made of crystalline peel A. Um, The cup in the middle contains a barrier layer with a PVOH and is covered with a paper label. ILIC is one of the technology leader for inward labelings in thermoforming. And therefore, we also have experience labeling biomaterials. You can see on the right side, there's a EcoVio cup uh, labeled with a cardboard label. And... Um, Down to this sample, you can see a PLA um, in an amorphous PLA drinking cup, not for heat stability, uh, with a paper label. And for example, this paper label um, has a hot melt glue, and the cardboard label above has a um, sealing leg. Applications, maybe in the future or in the near past, um, depending on region of the world, ILIC customers request different applications. Yes, 
And for example, a takeaway coffee lid on the right side or coffee capsules and so on. And our opinion is whenever the collecting, sorting and washing effort is too high for the cycling plastic, then it can be an intelligent solution to compose the plastic specifically. Illig has a great experience in thermoforming biomaterials more than 20 years. And meanwhile, Illig promotes the possibilities of biomaterials in different ways. Um, you can see in the middle there's a thermoforming book, which uh, Illig published um, up to 20 years now. And also we have a, a great experience in publishing articles about biomaterials in the past. Are you ready to achieve thermoforming application with biomaterials in the future? Yes, of course. I want to present you a little movie. Thank you for your attention. Visit us at LinkedIn and YouTube. Christoph, thank you very much for this very good presentation. I'm sure the audience has several questions regarding thermoformed uh, packaging articles. Yes, and a very warm welcome, Christoph Steuer from Merseburg to Halle. Hello. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good afternoon to, to Merseburg near Halle. 
Thank you. Good afternoon. My colleague would like to pass on the questions to you. We would like to start the discussion now. Yeah, Christoph, um, seeing your presentation reminded me on the journey of thermoforming what we jointly had uh, together uh, for some of our products and product developments. Um, makes me smile and also make me happy to see that. Um, but for me sure, too, too. <laughs> for sure, we know each other for quite a long time. Um, we have some very interesting uh, questions also from the audience. Um, and uh, coming back to that path, what you had and the experience you described, uh, there's a question regarding how would you describe the major challenges in thermoforming of biopolymers, especially like PLA, in comparison to conventional polymers like polystyrene and polyethylene? Maybe polyethylene is not the, 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 the really common uh, thermoforming material. Maybe the, um, the, the audience uh, means uh, polyethylene terephthalate, PET. And of course, PET and PS, polystyrene, are quite common. And maybe I can point out, um, of course, there are different opportunities and different uh, things you have to deal when you are thermoforming different materials. But uh, what I want to point out is that we are, are ready to, to, to manufacture and to deal with the different materials. There are differences, but uh, the differences are not so big. So we can produce the biomaterials with our standard equipment. Yeah, maybe it refers also to another question. And it, uh, it's written here, it, is it possible to process standard plastics and biopolymers on the same time on a thermoforming machine or tool? Yes, but it depends on what materials you are you're looking for. Um, what, what we know is that we sometimes need different heater setups and, and adjustments, of course, for the biomaterials. Um, and I want to point out my, maybe um, the mold shrinkage. The mold shrinkage is a big topic for the thermoforming world um, because when you are thinking on a drinking cup and you have different mold shrinkages, I make an example for a PP, you have a mold shrinkage of up to 2% and for PLA only 0.5%. So if you bring um, PLA on the same mold like a PP and then your, 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 um, your forming part will be bigger than you um, projected or your, your scheduled and that you have to, um, to deal with. Yes, that's the main point. Huh? Yeah, to be a little bit more specific, uh, Chin Mai of India likes to know what materials can be used to replace PET grades in terms of biopolymers. Um, typically uh, PLA, because it's at uh, um, comparable stiffness and clarity, but also EcoVio is, is, is possible to, um, to um, substitute a PET. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, there are any results on thermoforming or recycled plastics um, so or biopolymers available? I mean, you've shown that there are some results uh, available. And I think um, mm -hmm. uh, there are also samples which you can ship out to somebody being interested. Um, maybe mm -hmm. I'm asking a question, stepping a step back um, regarding the question, can be the same thermoforming machine and tool used? I understood the tool needs to be adjusted uh, regarding the mold shrinkage, but how about the machine, mm -hmm. apart from the heater, what you pointed out, needs to be adjusted? Uh, what about the rest of the machine? So it could be the core thermoforming machine stay more or less the same um, to process biopolymers? Yeah, yes, I would say it uh, can stay more or less the same. Maybe um, uh, a few years ago, the PLA had had the um, disadvantage; it was really brittle, and uh, so we had to to um, to deal with it and uh, to solve uh, the problem. And we had the the um, the feeding of the film into the machine and out of the machine. We had to bring in a big radius so that it's not uh, uh, broken during the processing. Um, but uh, in the in the in, in the at the moment or in the, in the near few, uh, um, um, past, um, the PLA grades and types are becoming better and better and this brittle behavior is not, uh, is, is not a big issue anymore. Yeah, I like so to... So I, can, I yeah. can answer the question. Um, you, can, you can use the same machine, 
but of course you have to to um, to to to, uh, to took the the right um, adjustment and the the right uh, setup if you go to a lick. You can, for example, our PP and our PET machines are sometimes quite different too. Yeah, that mm -hmm. I want to want to uh, explain a little bit. Um, the questions coming here um, in are more related to thin wall uh, thermoforming. Mm -hmm. um, let me pick this one. Uh, what was the thinnest thickness um, what po biopolymers could be thermoformed? What is your experience? Because um, you have a broad so overview of all the different biopolymers yeah. uh, you've shown. Um, the, the input material of, of film, I would say um, 0.2 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Yes, 0.2 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because also Raju of India likes to know um, at 0.5 millimeters thickness, what is more cost effective from your point of view as a producer of injection uh, of thermoforming? She's sorry, is injection molding or thermoforming no having problem. advantages? Um, do you offer some help to also compare customers' thin wall injection molding versus um, uh, thin wall thermoforming? In, in general, we say uh, thermoforming has a, um, um, a cost and, um, and a, a sickness and um, um, a mass advantage against the injection molding. And so I would say, yes, I am the thermoforming of biopolymer which, um, could be better than uh, uh, injection molding, but I, of course, you have to you have to uh, keep in mind there are parts you cannot uh, reach with uh, thermoforming, and that's why injection molding is is uh, of course an important processing in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, if you would rate different uh, biopolymers such as PLA, crystalline PLA, and and the others mentioned. Um, what would mm -hmm. you, how would you rate them in terms of uh, processing speed? Um, is there a very slow one and are there also gradient wise some more faster um, runnable products? For sure, comparing the same uh, geometry and the same sheet thickness. Mm -hmm. not, not, not really. What you can uh, say maybe is if you are um, processing um, a CPLA, of course, it's uh, it's more slower because the process needs more time for cr crystallization the the material, but it's the same like you are processing CPET. So, mm -hmm. I, I think there's because um, um, I have no information about big differences in the processing speed. Okay. Um how about the size of the mold? I mean, we are talking about rigid packaging. It's also a matter of output, not only about the, the, the frequency of speed, but also about the size of the mold and the cavity numbers. Um, what was mm -hmm. uh, the highest cavity number and production speed, what you experienced? Can you get some, some insights on that, if you can disclose about that? There, there are uh, projects, um, but I cannot uh, speak about everything. But maybe I can say so, 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 so for um, there are molds for thermoforming up to 90 cavities and uh, speed up to 30, maybe um, higher speed um, cycles per minute with a mold of 90 cavity is possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I cannot say so this is a customer and, and more about for this sure. project. For sure. Okay, great. So uh, thermoforming is really, let's say, on a normal scale, applicable also for biopolymers. Uh, that's what I read out on your comments. And uh, you have a great mm -hmm. experience. Um, I know you're running uh, a packaging uh, center in Heilbronn. Uh, can you get us mm -hmm. some insights about the service you offer um, either here in Germany or for the European market as well as for the Indian market? Yes, of course. Thank you. Yes, we have... Um um, 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 Elite technology, Elite technology center, we call it, and it's um, um, yeah. uh, a big hall with uh, different uh, machine uh, production machines, and um, we have, I think, up, up to 15, 20 internal molds we can use for different machine types, 
and we have a small packaging laboratory. We can we can do um, small packaging tests, and all this we can offer to our customers. So maybe I want to say the big advantage is we can start. Um, directly with um, production machine and production tool. And, and this, uh, this is a big advantage um, in comparison to a laboratory equipment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you make um, a project and a development with us, you can be sure that uh, after our project, your your application is suitable for um, production, production uh, um, environment. Mm -hmm. Do, uh, do you offer the same, let's say, kind of service, or what's what's the point of contact for the Indian market? Because as as you as we both know, uh, you have a great experience in your headquarter, but um, you've also mentioned you have a Illig India um, subsidiary. Um, can you also get some words about that? Yes, of course. Um, um, in in our center in in Illig, we we have not uh, so so big opportunities uh, for. For machine running and so on, but we can um, we can manage uh, a contact between uh, the Indian customer and uh, Ilik Heilbronn in Germany, and um, all uh, trials I pointed out we can we can do here, and uh, we also host uh, customers in in Heilbronn and uh, show directly our machine and uh, technology that we can offer. But uh, unfortunately, we have not um, a showroom or something else in in India. Okay, great. We have a showroom in China, um, but not unfortunately not in India. Okay, hopefully in future it will come, uh, let's say. Christoph, thank, thank you very much for, your, um, for the discussion. Um, and uh, send our regards here from Halle to, to Halbon. And hopefully you will stay with us um, for the next lecture and also for the um, prize ceremony later on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Steuer. Of course. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the nice uh, discussion. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. bye. bye.